telephone conversation between President Johnson and Senator Richard Russell on November 29, 1963, at 8.55 p.m. The president's friend, A.W. Morrison, also speaks with Senator Russell. Hello. Senator Russell, 2191. Just a moment. Dick? Yes? I hate to bother you again, but... Uh, I want you to know that I made an announcement. Well, announcement of what? Of this special commission. Oh, you have already? Yes. Uh -huh. And I got chief to hear, may I read it to you? Yes. The president announced that he is appointing a special commission to study and report upon all the facts and circumstances relating to the assassination of the late president, John F. Kennedy, and the subsequent violent death of the man charged with the assassination. The president stated that the majority and minority leadership of the Senate and the House had been consulted with respect to the full special commission. The members of the special commission are, colon, Chief Justice Earl Warren, Chairman, Senator Richard Russell, Georgia, Senator John Cooper, Kentucky, Representative Hale Boggs, Louisiana, Representative Gerald Ford, Michigan, Honorable Allen Dulles, Washington, Honorable John J. McCloy, New York. The president stated the special commission is to be instructed to evaluate all available information concerning the subject of the inquiry. The Federal Bureau of Investigation, pursuant to an earlier directive of the president, is making complete investigation of the facts. An inquiry is scheduled by a Texas Court of Inquiry convened by the Attorney General of Texas under Texas law. The special commission will have before it all evidence uncovered by the Federal Bureau of Investigation and all information available in the agency of the federal government. The Attorney General of Texas has also offered his cooperation. All federal agencies and offices are being directed to furnish services and cooperation to the Special Commission. The Commission will also be empowered to conduct any further investigation that it deems desirable. The President is instructing the Special Commission to satisfy itself that the truth is known as far as it can be discovered and to report its findings and conclusions to him to the American people and to the world. Well, now, uh, Mr. President, uh, I, I know I don't have to tell you my devotion to you, but I just can't serve on, on that commission. I, uh, I'm, I'm uh, highly honored you think about it in connection with it, but I, I, I couldn't say that with the Chief Justice Warren. I, I don't like that man, and I don't have any confidence in him, even though I realize he's a much greater man in the United States than he is today than almost anyone. So you get John Stennis. He's a uh, uh, Dick has already Dick has already been announced, and you can serve with anybody for the good of America. And uh, uh, this is a this is a question that has a good many more ramifications than on the surface. And uh, uh, there we got to take this out of the arena where they're testifying that Khrushchev and Castro did this and did that and. Uh, kicking us into a war that can kill 40 million Americans in an hour. And uh, uh, you'd put on your uniform in a minute. Now, the reason I ask Warren is because he's the Chief Justice of this country, and we've got to have the highest judicial people we can have. The reason I ask you is because you have that same kind of temperament. And you can do anything for your country, and don't go to give me that kind of stuff about you can't serve with anybody. You can do anything. It's not only that. I, I just uh, I don't think the chief, the chief Justice should have served on it. Well, uh, uh, Chief Justice ought to do anything he can to save America. And right now we've got a we've got a very touchy thing. And you wait till you look at this evidence. And you wait till you look at this report. Now don't uh, just I'm not going to lead you wrong. And you're not going to you're not going to be an old dog tray. You're not going to be an old dog tray company. But uh, I have never. Uh, you never turned your country down? You, well, this is not me. This is your country. And uh, uh, the members of the Special Commission are Chief Justice Warren, Senator Richard Russell, and I go right down the list. Now, I've got Alan Dulles and John McCloy. But uh, you've got, you're my man on that commission, and you're going to do it. And don't tell me what you can do and what you can't, because uh, I can't arrest you, and I'm not going to put the FBI on you, but uh, you're goddamn sure going to serve, I'll tell you that. 
And A.W. Morrison's here, and he wants to tell you that uh, how much all of us love you. Wait a minute. Well, I know, Mr. President, you all told me you were going to name I told you. I told, I told you today I was going to name Mr. Chief Justice when I called you. Did you did, huh? I did. You are talking about getting somebody on the Supreme Court. And That's right. Now, you didn't tell me you were going to name him. I told you I was going to name Warren. You said it'd be better to name Harlan. Oh, no. We, we talked, and I said Clark wouldn't do coach. No, that's right. But that's right. And I, I've got to get the highest justice I can get. He turned Bobby Kennedy down. Bobby, they talked to him, and he just said he wouldn't serve under any circumstances. I called him down there, and I spent an hour with him. And I, I begged him as much as I'm begging you. I just said, now, here's the situation. I won't tell you what, Mr. Mr beg me, you've always told me. Right? No, I have no. No, I have not. I don't, I, Mr. President, please. Now. No, it's already done. It's been announced, hell. You mean you've given that? Yes, to sir. You? I mean, I gave it. I gave I gave the announcement. It's already in the papers, and you on it, and you're going to be my man on it. And you just uh, you just forget that. Now, wait a minute. A.W. will not say a word to him, and I'll be back. Hello, Senator. Yeah. Oh, we're just sitting here talking. He said, I got one man on there. Oh, they smart and all the rest of them put together. I ain't buttering you up, Senator. You, you know, just like I do. Well, not me on this well God damn it, you know I'm, I'm not that kind of fella. And I just heard that. I just want you, I want you to know that. Because, hell, he, he depends on you. You know that. Oh. And, and he just got through saying, he said, I got one man on there. They're smart and all the rest of them put together. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. That's the truth. You know it. You know I know it, Senator. Well, hey, that be. A, I don't know when I've been as uh, unhappy about the things I have missed. Well, well, I know, but you you can take them, God Almighty. You've took them from here for years, and the hard ones, and the tough ones, and and you can take care of it, and you can take care of yourself. Down in Texas, kill any dead or anything. Well, you come to it. Well, but you don't, 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 don't say you can't do anything because you're the best can-do man there is. Oh no! Yeah. Oh no! Dick. Yeah. Now, we're we're going into a lot of problems. I saw uh, we had lunch together, and I I saw Sanders, and I saw I've seen a good many people since then. I saw Wilkins today. Had a long talk with him. Now, these things are going to be developing. And uh, I know you're gonna, I know you're gonna have your reservations and your modesty, and uh, you're gonna have a. You're gonna, wait a minute! Now wait a minute! I understand that, but now your president's asking you to do these things, and uh, there's some things that I want you in besides civil rights. And by God, you're gonna be in them, because I can't run this country by myself. And my future's behind me, and that's not entering into it at all. Well, your future, your future is your future is your country, and you're gonna you're gonna do everything you can to serve America. Now, I, I just haven't, I can't do it. I haven't got the time. I oh well, now, well, all right, we'll just we'll just make the time. All my joint items in there. Well, we'll just make the we'll just make the time. There's not going to be any time to begin with. All you're going to do is re evaluate a Hoover report he's already made. But well, okay. Well, then we won't move any faster than you want to move. But uh, but uh, uh, you you gonna you gonna lend your name to uh, to this thing because you're head of the CIA committee in the Senate, and you're gonna you're gonna have uh, you're gonna have full ride and heck and looper on it because this thing is breaking faster than you think. And. I've already talked to Hickenlooper and Fulbright and asked them to go with you, sit on your committee because I don't want I don't want these things torn up. Secretary of State came over here this afternoon. He's deeply concerned, Dick, about the idea that they're spreading throughout the communist world that Khrushchev killed Kennedy. Now he didn't. He didn't have a damn thing to do with it. Well, I don't think he did directly. Well, no, Bruce didn't, because he thought he'd get along better with Kennedy. All right, all right, but we want—we got to have some people. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if Castro had. All right, then okay, that's what we want to know. And people got confidence in you, and you can just be surprised or not surprised. They want to know what you think. And if my uh, A. W. Morrison's one wants to know what you think, and you. Just taking advantage of Mr. President, but no. I keep telling you. No, you're not. I'm talking about. No, I'm talking about taking advantage of. I want to tell you what not me, you my friend, so you, 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 you,
I will go and rob you of your wool up. You're going to say something, and you're going to get that damn pride, and you, you can't do it just you throw in the little Bible up there. Let him please put a cuckoo bar on it. Where is it? I don't need it. Well, you just come and get ready, because I'm really mad. And you just, you just, as they came across, he and Brandon were the same news about 30 minutes. I just saw it, yeah. Well, I'll just tell either one of them, because I have to use them in any place. And I'll tell them, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a rock country boy, and I don't forget the friends, and you're about to stand up and be quiet, and I don't want to bust it. I'm about to serve on these things. It's not something. It's rough. It's rough rough one now. No, it's not rough. Just look like this. I talk to Jim Eastland, Jim Eastland, the singer of that. Yeah. I'm the Jim Eastland, he, I talk to God, I talk to everybody. Oh, no, damn one of them, but the uh, folks going to be fired. Well, I'm sure they will. Well, they're not. Well, they're not. A, they're not a full investigation book with a television system. They have a half on American act. Well, well, all of that was like crap, and they should have a big enough push, but how do I stop it? How do I stop it? I don't tell me that I was going to go and burn off. I didn't say you were wrong. I said, well, I ought not to have had that kind of a hearing, and it, well, no. it could have been stopped some other way. So what, do you think? What, what do you think? What do you think? I've wrong now by putting you on a commission. Of course you don't. Well, I just don't like going. I don't like well, it. I don't like going, but you like it. It's over. Well. obligation. I just know you're going to call them as you see them. And I served on you. And I don't give a damn if you have to serve with a Republican, if you have to serve with a communist, if you have to serve with a, a Negro, if you have to serve with a thug, if you have to serve with A.W. Morrison. I can serve with a communist, I can serve with a Negro, I can serve with a Chinaman. Well, you may have to serve with A.W. Morrison, eh? And if I could serve with A.W. Morrison, I would say, Mr. Chairman, I'm pleased to serve under you, Judge Morrison. But, uh, well, we won't discuss it. No. Of course, no. Mr. President, I'll say it. Okay, Dick. Give, give Bobby my love and tell him he better get ready to, to give up that fruitful law practice he's got. He's going to Georgia now. Oh, God almighty. Oh, you see, I got him on aid, making as much money as I am. Well. His salary is exactly the same. What about Vandiver? Well, he's running for governor next time and will be elected. Hmm. Like well, who the hell's going to help me besides you? Well, those boys will help you if you need them. Well, I need them. Yeah, damn it, they're harder for you one time than I was. Don't you remember? No, that? no, I never did. Nobody ever been more to me than you have, Dick, except my mother. Oh, no. no, no, that's true. I never, I never, I bothered you more and made you, made you spend more hours with me telling me what is right and wrong and anybody except my mother. You do more things I didn't want to do than anybody. No, I never made you doing things wrong. I never made you doing, I made you doing things wrong. I don't know if you wrong. I didn't say wrong. I said uh, things I didn't want to do. Well. Like, uh, Bobby, and, Bobby and Ernie are two of the most loyal friends you've got on earth. I know that. They both called me up and said, you just got to do whatever Mr. Johnson said. No, I don't want you to do that. I just I want to counsel with you. I just want to counsel with you, and I just want your judgment and your wisdom. And, uh, and I, I don't expect this to do. Whatever it's worth, you've got it, but... Uh, Right. I'm going to have it, so, 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 
Evans, you know, I think we have to be careful about the way we treat our animals. Uh, and I think we have to be careful about the way we treat our animals. Uh, and I think we have to be careful about the way we treat our animals. Uh, and I think we have to be careful about the way we treat our animals. Uh, you and my man on there, and we have to be careful about the way we treat our animals. Uh, he said a man with this proud child there this fellow that went on in your boat over Maxon. He told me what he thought about the drug. He thought it's terrible. He's an overdrained stuff. I said, Well, I need read you one report. And I just picked up one day. What did he said a man that had criticized uh, this fellow that went on the Nuremberg trial, Jackson. He told me what he thought about Goldberg. He thought he's terrible. He's arbitrating track. And I said, let me read you one report. And I just picked up one report and read it to him. And I said, okay. Now, well, 40 million, 40 million Americans involved here. I may be, I may be wholly wrong, but I, I think uh, Mr. Warren would say on anything and give me any publicity. Well, you want me to tell you the truth? You know what happened? You know what happened? Bobby and them went up to see him today, and he turned him down cold and said no. Yeah. Two hours later, I called him and ordered him down here, and he didn't want to come. I insisted he come. He came down here, and he told me no twice. And I just pulled out what Hoover told me about the little incident in Mexico City, and I said, now, I don't want to... Mr. Khrushchev to be told tomorrow and be testifying before camera that he killed this fella and that uh, Castro killed him. And all I want you to do is look at the facts and, and bring any other facts you want in here and determine who killed the president. And I think you'd put on your uniform, World War I, fat as you are, and uh, uh, do anything you could to save one American life. Now, I'm surprised that you, the Chief Justice of the United States, would turn me down. And he started crying. He said, well, I won't turn you down. I'll just do whatever you say. But he turned the Attorney General down. Well, you ought not be so persuaded. Well, I think I ought to. I think you did wrong getting Warren. I know damn well you got wrong getting me, but no. both do the best you can. I think that's what you do. That's kind of American both of you are. Good night. Good night.